morning, good morning, good morning, people of God. Good morning, praise God, praise God. You know I this same. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Glory be to God Almighty. I hope you are hearing me this morning because prayer is going on inside the church. Hallelujah, yes. I remain Pastor Mrs. Unisage of Jesus Power Assembly of All Nations, 9000 Ghent. Ghent is in Belgium, praise God. And this church is just located by Dampo Street Station. Hallelujah. So no matter where you are coming from, in as long as you are in Belgium, no matter where you are coming from, the church is just at a location where you can easily locate it. Praise God forever. Hallelujah. All buses, uh, many of the buses in this city stops at the train station. So you can easily locate this church. Our weekly activities, every Wednesdays we have our Bible studies. Uh, 7 o'clock to uh, 8.30 and every Friday we have our uh, uh, prayers uh, in this sanctuary 7 o'clock to 8.30, 9 o'clock depends on how the Spirit of God takes us and of course every first song, every first Friday of the month we have our general all night where we come to the sanctuary to pray and put Satan where he belongs and every Sunday like today praise God forever, we have Holy Ghost service like you can hear, prayers are already going on in the church, I'm just in my office Hallelujah. Praise God forever. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So today, you know, I'll just, um, I want to encourage, I wouldn't like I told you, it's a kind of series. Hallelujah. For those that have been following us uh, from the beginning of this series, and even if you have not been following us, you know, try to listen to uh, today as you receive it. Try to listen to it. Don't skip it. Praise God. I'm still talking of our marriage. Hallelujah. I have been made by the Spirit of God and by the power of God to help build marriages. Praise God forever. And I thank God that many marriages have been put in order now. We are still going from glory to glory. If my marriage is in order, your marriage will also be in order. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. And of course, for those that care to listen and to uh, hear the word of God, praise God forever. It's the will of God for your marriage to work. So today, now we're taking it to the topic of wives. You know, wives, be wise in your marriage. Be very wise. Be very wise. Wives, be wise in your marriage. You know, if you are single, be wise as a single woman. If you are a young lady, be wise as a young lady. If you are a young girl, young lady, young girl, whatever you call it, be wise. If you are a married woman, be wise in that home. Praise God. In fact, generally as a female, be wise. God expects you to be wise. Wisdom is of God. Praise God. God expects you as a woman to be wise. A wise woman is that woman that thinks before she speaks. A wise woman is that woman, you know, that has a quiet spirit. Very quick to listen, but slow to speak. A wise woman is that woman that does everything to bring goodies, good things to the home. A wise woman is that woman that helps the husband or the fiancé to plan the future. A wise woman is a woman that carries ideas, great ideas, powerful ideas, ideas to help the home. Many people don't understand this. Many women think that ideas are from men. Men have ideas, yes. Men ideas are, that's for another day. But today I'm talking of women for your marriage to stand. Of as a single woman for you to enjoy your life you know as a woman generally for you to enjoy your life be wise be wise hallelujah be wise praise God forever you know if you are wise you will not lose anything if you are wise you will be able to keep your marriage because you know a wise woman is that kind of a woman you know that plans ahead of the home a wise woman is a woman that plan you know plan you know has good plans you know, you see this womb, womb, W-O-M-B, womb, you know, every woman has a womb, every woman has a womb. What is the, what is, what is the, 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 the function of the womb? What is the, 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 the things that the womb need to do is to carry baby. The womb of a woman is to carry baby. But I'm here to tell you today that the womb is not for baby alone. The womb is meant also to carry great ideas. 
great ideas as you make it in your brain it you you know it, it, it comes from your womb and it gets to your brain praise god forever the womb of every woman is meant for babies to carry babies womb is meant to carry babies and also to carry ideas is to carry ideas let your womb as a woman be full of ideas ideas to help your husband ideas to do explosion in your marriage ideas you know that other women will not have that you will have you bring it down you know you and your husband or you and your fiance or as a young lady you begin to conceive you begin to have it in your in your in your in your womb you begin to have a lot of ideas so that when you are married you will have things to help your home praise god you know a wise woman is that woman you know that you know make sure that everything is okay in the house a wise woman is that woman you know that helps the husband to put things right listen let me tell you something you know men are wired in a different way why women are wired in a different way you can attest to that you know men and women they are not wired the same way hallelujah to jesus christ you know there's a big difference there's a big difference you know between man and woman a very big difference you know so you see that with men you know they think just like that one way but with women we think different ways we think different ways a man will just bring idea just like that but a woman you know in what in one topic or in one in one thing you know or in what a woman will have different ideas how to solve a situation different ideas you know so these ideas are you know that's the wisdom we are talking about you know a woman you know a wife as a wife do everything you know to use to bring good ideas to bring good ideas you know to bring good ideas to your home you know don't think that is the man that is going to bring if you expect your husband or your fiance you know to bring ideas they may bring ideas that may not be pleasant to you because their own idea is one way one way you see in a particular thing a woman can have different ideas of solving a situation a woman can have different ideas of studying of, of solving a situation you, you understand you know maybe the idea of the man might be so hard and difficult so that's the reason why you as a wife as a woman you know you need to make sure that you know you, you have ideas you know you have ideas you see this womb many women are just eating and eating and eating and eating so the extent have you not seen some women their stomach is like this you think they are pregnant they are not pregnant it's full of food it's full of food it's full of food you know i'm not talking of those that are sick fibroid no you know if you have five brothers as a woman the almighty god will help you the almighty god will deliver you and the almighty god will make that fiber to disappear in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth praise god you know i'm not talking of those that are victim of uh uh one thing or the other in their womb i'm not talking of that praise god forever the god almighty will heal you if you have fibroid in your womb praise god but i'm talking of those that are just eating and eating and eating and eating and eating you know their stomach their womb is full of food you know, when you even see that you think they are pregnant, they are not pregnant, it's full of food. They will so eat and eat and eat. You know, when you eat too much as a woman, you can't conceive good ideas in your womb. Good ideas can't be there. Praise God forever. You know, let's see what the Bible says. Hmm? You know, a wise woman, you know, bring ideas to help the husband, to help the home, to help the children, you know. Your mind is full of ideas to help your husband, you know. When there are bills in the house that need to be paid, many women, you know, when bills come, they are waiting for the man to go and pay it. No, no, you know, you know. Make sure you get the money. The money comes from the man or from you. I don't know how you manage your finance. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about as bills come to the home, it is the duty of the woman get the bills. I don't know how you manage your finance praise god forever you know for me and my husband we have one account that we operate so when this come to the house i take it and go and pay it you know and go and pay it i pay everything you know because his salary everything comes to one account you know my money everything also come for my business everything my business and everything is one account you know so we don't have this one we have to do this one no 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 when this come in 
I take, I go and pay. I make everything okay so that there will be no problems in the home. You know, so that is how it should be. And if paraventure you are pretty different accounts, you know, if paraventure you are pretty different account, when bills come, don't wait for the man. Make sure you get the bill and show it to the man and say this bill has arrived. Send the money to my account so that I, you know, settle because he's a woman that makes sure that things are done in the house. Things are done in the house. You know, make sure that there is enough food in the house. Make sure there is enough things in the house. Make sure that. <clears throat> Everything is in order in the house. That is the duty of the woman. Praise God forever. I'm not saying you do it with your money because your husband has to work. You know? A man don't just sit down at home. Just, but that's a topic for I have not even entered the man. The man, the main issue are not in the agenda yet. You know? I want to first of all clear the road for women first to prepare you. You know, as many women are now getting their senses since they listen to my messages. Many women, you know, Women are calling me to really tell me, you know, few women, you know, so I'm so excited about that, you know. So I want to make sure I finish first with the women before I enter the men. That may take maybe a long time, I don't know, you know, because I still have a lot to discuss with our women. Women, you are my friend. We are the same. We are drawing the same rope, you know. You are a woman, I'm a woman. So we are, we are, we are, we are building the same thing, you know. Let's, let's, let's do things to really help our husband so that all these side chick and chickens, outside they don't take your husband from you keep your husband in your house consider good ideas to help your husband praise god forever your womb as a woman that's what i'm here to tell you your womb to carry baby as a woman is not only for babies alone your womb is also to carry ideas ideas good ideas to help your husband you know to help your husband hmm? if your husband have a car your husband is driving a car when it's time to take the car for control you know it is the duty of the woman you must be current Many women don't even know when their husband's car is to go for control. Many women don't even know when the insurance of their husband's car is expired. Many women don't even know anything about their husband's things and yet they are married, they are in the same house. May God deliver you today as a wife. Praise God forever. You know, it is your duty as a wife to know when the insurance of your husband's car, you know, that shows how wise and intelligent you are. That shows how much you put in that marriage. Your interest, all your life, all your... You must put it in the marriage. Oh, because it's called marriage. Marriage, one plus one is one. Hallelujah. The man plus the woman is one. Is one. So as a wife, that is why you are there. You are there to build the home. What is everything about the man? You are there to help him. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is your duty to see that it is time, you know, that your husband's car has to go for control, to control it, you know. It is it is your duty as a woman to know that your husband's car, you know, the, the insurance is expired, he needs to put a new insurance. It is your duty to know that, you know, your husband, you know, the car, you know, has fought. You know, this is your duty because if you leave it for the man, there's going to be a lot of mess up in the home because men don't, many men don't really care, especially those that are married. They believe that, you know, it is the duty of their, it is your duty to remind your husband of certain things. Hallelujah. Some women will say, oh, if I'm talking to my husband, he doesn't listen, but how do you bring the topic? You know, how do you bring the topic? You know, humble yourself as a wife, humble yourself as a woman. When you talk to your husband, he will listen to you. You know, he will listen to you. It is your duty to do shopping in the home. That is your duty. It's not the duty of the man. It is your duty, you know, to make sure that the children are okay. It is your duty to make sure that things are, you know, women have a lot of responsibility. Come on, people. Let me tell you something. All these responsibilities, they are not burdened at all. They are not burdens. They are not problems. They are very interesting. If you are used to it, you know, you know, as a wife, as a mother, you will just you will just enjoy doing it. You will enjoy doing it to see that oh, you know, I'm the one helping my husband to do this, helping my husband. You will, it will be a joy to you. It will be a joy to you. You know, it will be a joy to you. You know, but if you are not a good woman, it will be a burden to you. Say, what is my business with? If you say, what is your business with your husband activities? Then it means that <laughs> you are not ready to keep that marriage because someone will be out there that can help him. You know. To see that all these things are in order. Praise God forever. You know? So it is your duty. Let's see what the Bible says. Let's see what the Bible says. Let's go to the book of Proverbs 14, verse 1. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 1. 
He said, every wise woman builds a home, a house. Every wise woman builds a house. But the foolish one pluck it down with her hands. Every wise woman built a house. But the wise one built a house. But the foolish one pull it down with her hands. How do you pull down your home with your hands? You pull down your home with your hands by neglecting your duty in the home. You pull down your home by not bringing ideas or helping your husband. You know? Or helping your husband. You know? You pull down your homes by thinking, oh, your husband's business is not your business. Your husband's matter is not your matter. You are pulling down your home. But you are building your home as a wise woman when you take your husband's issue as your issue. Hallelujah. Praise God forever. You see what the Bible says? Proverbs chapter 1, uh, Proverbs 14, verse 1. He said, a wise woman build a house that the foolish one pull it down. So be wise in your marriage. Every wife, every singles, every uh, married singles and uh, uh, young ladies, be wise in your home. Build your home. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. So, next week, please, if you receive this, uh, this message, try to share. Share. Praise God. Share this message. Share to women. Share to men. Share to uh, singles. Share to ladies. Share. There is power in sharing. When you share, you are saving a lot of people. You are saving them. And as you do that, heaven is recommending you. That is what matters. Praise God forever. Many people don't know that everything we do on earth, heaven is, is recording everything. You know? There are things you don't really need to pray for. If you are just doing the right thing. If you receive this message, share, share. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's not going to destroy people. It's going to help people. So what if you are involved in whatever is helping people, your life will be blessed. Praise God. So next week, watch out. A topic I'm going to give next week. It's going to blow your mind. It's on marriage. You know, I'm going to talk on sex next week. So get ready to hear this. The importance of sex in marriage. So that is my topic for next week. So get ready to hear it. And you'll be wonderfully blessed in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. So I'm going right now into the office. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Bye-bye.